Welcome to the Community Television Board of Directors regular meeting for October 22nd, 2018. Will the secretary please call the roll? Chair Gudger. Here. Director Fisher. Director Hall. Director Rand. Here. Director Wade. Director Manheim. Here. Director Laurent. Here. Director Mizuras. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Owen. Here. Thank you. We have a quorum. This is oral communications. It's a time when anyone can address the board about items not on the agenda. Seeing no one, I will move on to consideration of late additions to the agenda or additions and deletions. Are there any? Seeing none, we'll move on to the consent agenda. I believe that the minutes for one of the meeting is a request to make some small changes. Yeah, I noticed a couple of spelling errors, and I want to have a little bit more uh, information about the uh, uh, application for an award that one of our uh, members have submitted about his poetry show, so that it says the ACM Awards. And there was one other thing, and I emailed you about uh, okay. just a little, little more explanation. Okay. I think it, it helps. So that's the other September that, 24th minute. It's 25th. Right? No, there's June 25th 24th. or September 24th. Exactly. Okay. It's the 24th. Which one? September. <laughs> it's okay. September one. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> I, can, I can make those. I'm agreeable. I'm agreeable. <laughs> okay. And yeah. then the, <clears throat> the packet included the minutes from the Finance Committee meeting a week ago and the August and September financial reports. That's the consent agenda. Tom, did you want to say anything about the Finance Committee? Um, the one thing I can say is we met, um, and as always, we looked at all of our finances. The one thing I liked seeing was that in terms of our revenue through satellite at this point, through the satellite operation, for the month of September, we were 40% over what we budgeted. So we brought in 40% more than we expected. Oh. And year to date for the first quarter, we're over 25% ahead of what we projected. Excellent. So, kudos to yes. all of us. Yes. Yes. Great. Especially the people that put in the work, right? Yes. <laughs> 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 Especially, yeah. And that was it with a changeover of our community coordinator yep. as well. Yeah. Great. So, is there a motion on the consent agenda? I move. With the, with, with, a, with the changes specified. And I'll okay. second. Okay. Then any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, we're going to move on to the oral report of the executive director. Oh, good. For a second, my computer was just black. <laughs> but it came around. <laughs> well, it's good for in the black. That's what we want. That's it's why some of us reflecting still bring our hard copies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with financial. As you just heard, the co-working center is in profit for October, and it's been steadily in profit for eight months in a row. So we're really excited about that. Um, there continues to be a lot more activity in the cafe area, and the parking lot is often full. So we're pretty excited about that. We have a lot of people that are working in the cafe. We've got a lot of small businesses in the cafe, which is kind of fun. Um, we're doing Can I, just for clarification for any viewers who might be interested in what the cafe is? Oh yeah, yeah, it's lingo. Um, the cafe is the open seating area in the middle and it's, it's surrounded by um, uh, offices that are closed, private offices. And the reason it's called the cafe is because it's like working in a cafe. So you just go in and grab a table and there are a bunch of them there. And we do have a dedicated ones. Some people stake out a claim on a particular table and then that's reserved for them. But it, they call it the cafe just because it's full of a bunch of tables and chairs and you can sit anywhere and work. Thanks. Yes, but, and and, how many but the cafe coffee in our cafe members is members do we have? How many members? Mm -hmm. I cafe don't. members, or are they a special member? Oh, type? cafe membership? Yeah, cafe membership is a different membership. Mm -hmm. And our software doesn't break it out that way, so I, I actually have to count them if I want to know. <laughs> but we can also, you know, like I sometimes is come in for a day. Yeah, know? yeah. And we have a lot of can, people that just have come a day in for class. a day. I just think it's interesting yeah. to see the utilization, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. sort of like a... Uh, exercise club membership, they could have thousands exactly. of people, but only right. a hundred show up. Right, right. <laughs> it's exactly like that. So it's just like to that. see if the utilization versus the membership uh, uh, 
makes sense, you know, to to get more members of the, the cafe members. Oh yeah, and you can. We have in our software. The software tells us how much we have, how much availability we have, and we're not full yet. Yeah. So oh, we can definitely. continue to add yes. on more. We can grow. So a come lot on more. down. Yes, come on <laughs> down. There's plenty of room. There's room. At, many tables are empty and waiting for you. And an exciting place to work. It is fun. It yeah. is fun. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're doing a fun Halloween party and there's a costume contest and it's just like if you had a real job at a place. <laughs> <laughs> we have pumpkins to carve and and we do fun things we do fun things for holidays. So it's a good it's a good fun place to work. Um, we're we're working with a, a film producer right now who has he's made five films and he's about to make another. He's shot the first half, but the last half needs to be shot in a studio. And he's talking to us about renting our studio and um, the conference room and the edit suite and the audio booth and and uh, a bunch of a bunch of different venues for uh, for his crew to work and his producers to work and stuff for a short period of time, like you know two months maybe, around January, which is kind of what we hoped when we built this, was that we would get companies that would want to come in and do something for a couple of months, and it's all set up just for that. They can do, they can watch dailies in the conference room and edit stuff in the edit suites and record audio and, of course, uh, this. And they're also going to use our crane and our dolly. That's so exciting. <laughs> so I can't wait. I know. I bought the crane and dolly thinking, okay. I hope we rent these, <laughs> and it looks like we're going to. And and so, uh, equipment rentals are kind of spiking up. For a long time, it was just us <laughs> running the equipment. But um, last uh, month, we did $1,541 in outside rentals of wow. equipment. So Great. I'm telling you that now because we are our advertising for the studio and the equipment is running on Google now. So I'm hoping that next month that number will be bigger. But you know, it takes a while. Advertising is all about mm -hmm. reach and frequency, mm -hmm. so it's not going to be instant, but it mm -hmm. might be fun to watch that number now. Will yeah. you be, um, as, as people come in running equipment, do you check and find out how they heard about us? Is that sort of part I, of it? Yeah, we do. Uh, it depends. I mean, uh, it's something that we ask the coordinator to do. Sometimes they remember, sometimes they don't. But a lot of times they are mm -hmm. able to tell us how they know. Yeah, and that's good is, information to have. Yes, yes, it is. One thing we can tell, um, we can see the Google Analytics for the studio website, and we can know where they are. So sometimes they're in other countries. I don't know. <laughs> like, so, but um, we can we can see if they're in this county or from San Francisco or that sort of thing. The people that are attracted to the website, at least. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do have a new co-working coordinator, his name is Ian Berry, and he's doing a great job. He's caught on really fast, and he, he got to spend four days with Alana before she moved on to her next big adventure, and um, he's doing great. And um, he has a degree in filmmaking, so he understands all our video equipment. Oh, so wonderful. He's, oh, yeah, great. it's really easy for him to, and he knows other filmmakers, and he is doing a really interesting thing. I always let the co-working uh, coordinator figure out events that they would like to do. And so he's doing movie nights, So because he knows all about movies. So um, he's got a whole bunch of, um, he's selected a whole bunch of public domain films that we can show on Friday nights. And we're going to start with First Friday with a bunch of shorts kind of classic short film so people can come and go and um, uh, and he's he contacted some filmmakers to see if they would lend us their films <laughs> and, and they won't but it was <laughs> I thought, um, a good initiative <laughs> it was great that he asked so but he's got you know he's good film education he's got a, an eye for cool stuff and so he's getting he's amassing a bunch of things for us to do so we're we're getting a popcorn machine we're going to do movies <laughs> on Friday nights it should be fun um, we, um, the government meeting services, we're into paid services now, we're still under finances here. Um, uh, we did 16 regular meetings and, we'll, and two special meetings in September. And um, we had an interesting thing happen at, at CMAP, we had sort of a staff changeover. And what I've done is outsourced the government meetings to Victor. So now he manages the staff there that do government meetings, the video technicians, and he does the schedule and the programming. And so CMAP will pay him for that because, um, well, on the CMAP side, it's really hard to find people that know how to do that. That's not like, a, like there's not a lot of people around that know. So um, 
Victor, told, I asked Victor what he would think of that idea, and he said, you know, I've always wanted to do that. I figured one day we probably would. So <laughs> uh, Victor really doesn't like doing the documentation that we do. We go out and shoot lectures and, and people's uh, meetings and wrestling, and, and um, they, he really, that's not his favorite thing. So uh, I've hired a really good production person at CMAP. So CMAP will do that part for Victor, and Victor will do the other part for CMAP. And, I think that in the end, it could be a wash, but I actually think CPV will make money at this. So um, I don't want to lose the documentation money. That's in my budget. So we'll make sure that it equals out. Um, under the equipment and facilities, the only thing we really have going on now is we're bringing fiber to the building. So um, the process has begun. We've got the paperwork signed, and we had to get the landlord sign off, and he, he kindly signed the document. And so they're now working on doing that. And they're making some changes sometime this week with Victor. And then they'll be, I don't, they told me it would take a couple months to do. So it's not around the corner, but it's coming. And what was the bandwidth that we decided to go with? We went with 200, okay. up and down. So that, and we can, upgrade if we want to and if it's still if it keeps getting fuller then we probably will mm -hmm. but um, yeah so that's we'll see we'll mm -hmm. be exciting um, we are uh, moving on to advertising our advertising agency has made uh, they made uh, a bunch of ads for us free so they could get them going so they've done that and uh, we should see the results <coughs> of that pretty soon and uh, we're still working on the website. I've had a whole bunch of stuff happen that didn't, I didn't have free time to work on it, but it's out there. Will the um, uh, advertisements that, that the uh, advertising company is doing, the yeah. videos, mm -hmm. those are for the web? Yeah. Will we also be showing them on our air? Is there any reason why we couldn't? Oh, let me ask them that. Yeah, we probably could. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask them. Yeah. I'll see if they mind. I guess they made it yeah, for us. Yeah, so like so done like at CTV, yes, done you ads. know, yeah. right. produced by. Yeah. yeah, I think they're <laughs> images and so they're not like fancy, but uh, yeah, let I me mean, ask them if we could get copies and play them. Sure, why not? That makes sense. Okay, that's my that's my report for September. Great, mm -hmm. thank you. <clears throat> so we did, that segues into item 10, that's a consider approval of fiscal sponsorship, which you mentioned a little bit, so Becca, can, it's in. Good. It's the, uh, your s proposal. It's in here. Follows her. Yeah, her it would help if I was looking at the right board package. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that board packet is just rolls by. It is hard to find where you want to be in there. Okay. So. Good. Are we ready? Okay. So, um, I when I talked to this, um, we we've done fiscal sponsorships in the past. Um, we did for twenty years. We did the real. Works. Works Film mm -hmm. Festival, and we, we did their fiscal sponsorship. So um, I was talking to this producer about whether, you know, what he was going to do and what he could use and sort of showing him our stuff and everything, and, and I mentioned to him, I said, well, you know, we, we could do a fiscal sponsorship if you want, and he was very excited about that. <laughs> so um, I, I uh, this would be a bigger deal than the Real Works Film Festival. That was pretty, that's short time. That was like a month long, and, and it wasn't nearly as much money. But the idea is the same. So what it helps young filmmakers to have a, an established business behind them handling the money, because then it, you feel safe giving, you know, people would be, you know, if you, if you don't have a track record, people, people like to give money to real businesses. They don't like to give it to independent filmmakers necessarily. Mm -hmm. So this way, we, we used to do this at KQED, and they, they still do it, I think. We would just uh, partner with filmmakers. And um, we do the money, and they raise the money. We don't raise any money. They do all the raising, and the money just comes to us, and we take care of it. We pay the bills. The bills come to us, and we pay the bills based on their, based on two things: their budget, and that the money is in the bank. <laughs> and so, it's a pretty, um, it's a really good thing to do for it. It promotes local filmmaking, and it helps filmmakers who might not be able to realize their art if um, someone didn't help them with the money. So um, that's what I think I, I would like us to kind of re revisit that and really um, make it a little more robust program because we would charge for the, um, the care of their money and the management of it. And so when a filmmaker would come to us, we would get 10% of whatever they raise in order to manage it for them. And uh, 
all the projects that we would do would take place either in our building or with our equipment. So they would be renting equipment or facilities from us as well, and we would get a percentage of the money they make on it if there is any. So it's um, we get on-screen credit, so we be known in the film world as a place where you can make a film. So the and local producers get a really big benefit. They get to you know they when they ask for money, they can they can assure the the. The donors that they have a third-party nonprofit company that's been established for a long time taking care of it and the supporters of the arts also benefit because they can they can give to our program we'll establish a program it's called the independent media initiative and they can earmark the money for a certain project in there so they can get a tax deduction by donating to a nonprofit to support films and then the films get funded so more films, films are made and people in, in the, um, the art of digital media get jobs and work on projects and get screen credits and we get content and when we rent a lot of our rental facilities and equipment. So I think it's a really good thing to do. I've, I've talked to Mel about it and she is up for it. So I think it's a nice little revenue stream for us that we can build probably once we get started with it, we get one done, we can then go out and talk to filmmakers and go to film festivals and, and meet filmmakers and advertise in filmmaker places and kind of it's a really nice target market. So who is the person that has the financial credentials to actually manage the money that people are going to entrust us to do? And it's Mel, she's a CPA. Mm, okay. Yeah, she's our she's our accountant. And you think one person can handle oh, coordinating yeah. budgets on multiple events, or is this like well, we're going to happen it. sporadically? We're, yeah, so. we, it's not like there are fifty movies lined mm -hmm. up for us right now. We'll do one, <laughs> and and um, we can hire help for Mel ah, if yeah. we need to, because we get ten percent, and if it's a big movie, that's twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's a good. It's a good amount. I mean, that's not a big movie, but it'd be a big movie for us. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's plenty of money to pay for doing it, mm -hmm. and we should have. And where are all more. these movie makers? Do we have movie makers in yes, Santa Cruz that are raising money? And do, uh, like, how many do you think we have? Well, I know Eric Tierman and Jeff Dunn, and this uh, the the maker I'm working mm -hmm. with now. Those are three that I know, but mm -hmm. there are many others. I mean, there's lots of surf movie makers, and there's all kinds mm -hmm. of. So we can't throw a rock right here and not hit it. Yeah. Somebody who thinks they're a movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and can we go outside the Santa Cruz footprint, or is the goal to stay inside? The well, we can go outside, out to the county. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I guess we could take it on a case-by-case -case basis if people from outside the county start asking us. We could see. We could see if what it's we a think. unique service, maybe they would. Yeah, well, there's PBS stations do <coughs> it, too, and they're out yeah, there. Okay. So, and then they, they partner with um, ITV and... and um, they, but they generally do larger, larger productions than we would do. So I'm thinking that we're going to be talking to a lot of people that are making a small movie. But you know, and should we go talk to, to them about their experience running this kind of business and their the pluses and minuses? Who? Oh, uh, you said other uh, PBS stations. PBS stations. Oh, I did it. With oh, you've done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did it there, okay. and that we there was a person in charge of it, but, mm -hmm. and it wasn't me, but I, we had films going through. KTH used to do that. That's what they did mostly, was they got documentary filmmakers, they'd partner with them, they'd make a film, and the money would go through KQED. And I made a bunch of television mm -hmm. series where I was the line producer, so it would be my job to watch that money and send it and make sure that I would work with the people that were the sponsors. And is 10 percent is that a fairly eight to 20 percent is the range yeah mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we're doing 10 because it it's a nice round number <laughs> it's easy to calculate <laughs> yes yes it's easy to calculate in your heads right. so yeah and then we will also if if the movie makes money we get one more percent right and you did speak to an attorney about yes yes issues. we went yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> well by the way uh, we went and talked to a nonprofit attorney in uh, Sam's story in Capitola and told him what we were thinking of doing he was familiar with the concept and thought it, it dovetailed with our mission and, and uh, he, t he gave us a list of little things that we needed to do to make it um, work for us so we're not just passing money through our nonprofit mm -hmm. and um, that's part of the things we need to do is make sure that we benefit and so we benefit by the percentage that we get when they um, when they make money. We also uh, they're required to use our facilities and equipment. Ah, okay. So we get money that way as well. 
So well, it's more it than just very the 10%. exciting. Uh, are there any liabilities or any special insurance we have to have for you know fraud or anything like that? Like a bank, we're not a bank, and maybe KQED has you know is bigger and can you know protect themselves. I would just say, you know, look at the financials, but also you know, are there any liabilities that you're not set up to undertake? Not that I'm aware of. I can look deeper into it. Mm -hmm. I think that there the. Um, we're separating the money. It'll be in its own separate account, mm -hmm. and uh, so the we'll just be. And we're not going to. We're not funding the film. We're going to mm -hmm. just pay the bills according to how much you know they'll have to raise the money. So there'll be um, monthly reports and mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And banks and all go through the bank. So there shouldn't. <coughs> I can't imagine. And isn't it in the contract that you sign with the? Uh, I mean, I was involved. Yeah, in there's an agreement. I mean, there's a mm -hmm. very specific yes. line where. We are not held hold uh, harmless. Uh, hold, yes, we yeah. are hold harmless, and we are not held responsible. Yeah, you're holding it a bank. Something happens, right. money gone, <laughs> not no. our liability. No. Yeah, yeah. There's the whole. We're no, paying the, the wrong people. The contract is pretty, pretty right. clear. The fiscal, so, and mm -hmm. you know, some story is very much aware of that. Uh, yeah, fiscal yeah. sponsorship. Yeah, so contract. he'll be if we are, if we do this, he'll drop <coughs> the. <coughs> the um, the agreement that yeah. we'll have. You might have to require sign. them to have insurance because they're they, like, yeah, they so have they would have, have to have the insurance. Right. And actually, yeah. we do that in the chemical lab. We yes. require them to be an entity that has insurance. Exactly. So name, that's a, and, a good and requirement. And, 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 and have us as a... Yes, and, and we each hold each, yeah. hold each other exactly. harmless. Yeah. 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 Yep. Good idea. Thank you. <laughs> so we discussed this... Um, a little bit, and we thought it would be a good idea for the board to approve Becca going forward mm -hmm. with a fiscal sponsorship as described in the document here. Mm -hmm. I would move okay. that the board approve this and move forward and keep us posted on how it's going. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and I would say it would be nice to know what some of the goals would be or and any potential expenses you may incur in order to set up you know, the function, whether it be at the bank or whatever, maybe a little mini business plan at the next meeting would be nice, just to, here's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> sure. I'll incorporate that into the mm -hmm. motion. I'll, I'll second it. The seconder. Okay. Any other discussion on this item? Okay. So none, I'll ask for approval. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? <coughs> Seeing none, we'll move on to a little recap of the board retreat subcommittees. Oh, I guess I put myself first. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, since you can't So, uh, where we are on the technical end of things is I've talked to Maitreya. He had an excellent suggestion for software that could run this um, simple studio. And then I went to a place where he has it installed and we walked through what was required. I already installed it on my own computer and started messing with it. But it was really beneficial working with my tray of seeing some of the tricks. Um, for instance, here we have cameras and the director selects a camera. In this software, you don't select the camera, you select a scene. And in a way, it really makes a lot more sense. But um, it was, I didn't realize that, so I couldn't figure out what I was okay. doing at first. <laughs> well, a scene might include the camera and a lower third, mm. that kind of thing. So when you switch mm. between scenes, you get more than just the camera, which is why it's set up that way. Oh, cool. But like I said, I didn't figure that out. So it was very helpful having my trainer, who's been using this for quite a while and has set it up on a couple of different computers uh, to help me walk through it. So where we are on that is, I have a general idea of what needs to be done software-wise to get something up and running. Um, I'm going to propose that I do that. I try and set that up. I may want to purchase a couple of simple pieces of gear, like the foot pedal we talked about, for instance, so I can see how that's going to interface with it. Um, but we're not going to go far and spend a lot of money until we get a better feedback like we discussed last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But the foot pedal could be used in here to run a prompter and all kinds of things. Yes. You could use it for all sorts of things. Yeah, and that's a worthwhile buying anyway. And so just to play around with it, um, I made a simple PSA for our free co-working Wednesdays. Uh -huh. 
and if our director wants to show it, it's really, really simple, but oh, there it is. The Satellite Santa Cruz has free code Turn off the lights here. Get right to work in a beautiful connected workspace with comfortable chairs. The satellite co-working well, space totally includes right. blazing fast it's, internet, it's friendly it. staff you and don't co-workers, need, you know, no, you don't an need outdoor it. patio, you don't and need free it, coffee to yeah. top it off. Are you a professional or entrepreneur who is still hesitant to check out what co-working can do for you? Stop by on Wednesday and give it a try. Free so Linda, can we day. run this again, but have the audio person turn off the mics? The Satellite Santa Cruz has free co-working every Wednesday. Get right to work in a beautiful connected workspace with comfortable chairs. The satellite co-working space includes blazing fast internet, friendly staff and co-workers, an outdoor patio and free coffee to top it off. Are you a professional or entrepreneur who is still hesitant to check out what co-working can do for you? Stop by on Wednesday and give it a try. Free for the whole day. Okay, cool. So, the, so what part of that was was the was the scene thing um actually because there's not a picture with a camera on me it was one scene it was a the a slide slide thing oh okay which was a setup to automatically go through it to take exactly 30 seconds oh so all i had to do was hit one key to start it another key to stop it basically and then talk neat so <laughs> that's what i wanted to see is how e if i could set it up to be basically one or two keys cool to do it um, but it did raise, you know, as I go through it, it raises a lot of questions. So the committee needs to meet soon because I have a lot of questions. <laughs> okay. I mean, how many buttons are we willing to have someone deal with is, is a good example. Because, you know, start it, change slides, change camera back and forth, you know, have slides go automatic or not. There's all kinds of things that we should discuss to see what makes sense in terms of how simple we want things or how flexible, you know, there's always that trade-off. Cool. Okay. That's fun. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, Congrats. Great then, then there's the venues equipment subcommittee, and I believe that uh, Maitreya was mostly doing that. I don't, you, what yes, and I only know what I've done. I don't know what Maitreya has done. Um, I've been pursuing the Kowumba mm -hmm. uh, Jazz uh, Center, and and uh, they were quite open to having further discussion, their executive director, and uh, she was gonna talk to her um, uh, person in charge of uh, venues and, and uh, content and exec you know, their artistic director, and uh, wanted to meet at the end of October. So they were gonna come back to us with a couple of dates, but they love the idea of the wish list, you know, they tell us what they are envisioning for themselves to use in the lab, and then some of the ideas that we pitch to them, which are, why don't you permanently attach some video equipment with audio equipment, and therefore you can run, or maybe we can run for you, uh, a photo shoot, maybe even of the venue that's going on at the Kowumba. And, uh, they liked that. They they thought, oh, that's interesting. I wonder. You know, I said, and is there some commercial viability for them to use this capability? Maybe offer it to the performer mm -hmm. to cut a CD the three hours before, you know, or a few hours after their show. They can go in and actually Record. do a CD of the event. Mm -hmm. It would be nice beforehand, so they have something to distribute. So it could turn into create something or create content for advertising, the Kowumba and or the uh, entertainment venue itself uh, could be uh, recording itself so that they can post a little commercial on their own website and commission us to do it or request us to do it for them in conjunction with the Kowumba and we can share the revenues. They can probably, usually artists will give you three minutes or something that you can record mm -hmm. of, a, of something. So even if it isn't something that they could record totally, they could probably record a clip. Yeah, and, and then the Kowumba can use it in yeah. just actually running it on yeah. our channel mm -hmm. is to advertise themselves by giving free, yeah. you know, snapshot. And maybe all it takes for us to get that is to actually put the name of the artist and the yeah. date that it was taken. Yeah. So if we do that, then they'll allow us to run it as this was hap what happened at the Kowumba that day. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe get three songs or something. Yeah. Or yeah. Put those up. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well done. Good thinking. <laughs> Okay. So I, and I know there's other venues people are pursuing, but I'm not up to date on them. <laughs> no, that's okay. Do you know I don't. Matre has been leading this, and yeah. so and he's I think there, the next the step that we've talked about internally is is the three of us getting together to sort of get mm -hmm. a sense of what the, what how we'd structure it on our end. Mm -hmm. And if we sort of do the Kawamba, then we know how to pitch it to other people too. So we could come up with a little prototype of what we're pitching. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And Janice is here, so I'll ask you. Okay, well, I've been on vacation. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Janice is barely That's right. here. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I report. Okay. Um, That's and fine. Uh, so I just got back yesterday afternoon, and so now I'm um, going to be setting up a meeting between our um, CTB subcommittee and the library staff who would be involved. Great. So hopefully I will have a great deal more to say next meeting. Thanks. <coughs> and next up is item 12, the oral report from the Volunteer Advisory Committee. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned last time, we are starting up our orientation and, and camera class uh, in the studio and in the field and the audio class. So that's all coming up. Uh, November mm -hmm. 14th is the first orientation. You know, the remodeled. Uh, reverbed orientation where we have a little bit more hands-on stuff for people that are actually coming in and uh, but that's something in process that eventually they will be uh, like observing we will do the orientation before a program and then they get observing how yeah. things work so but that's still in the works uh, you know we need to get the producer involved and we need to get people to to guide our new people through that. So, but that's in the works. Um, then also the um, uh, Linda, who's on the uh, volunteer advisory committee, she is uh, doing the director and producers workshops. Uh, the first one that's coming up is on the 18th of uh, November, where that's a Sunday, where we're doing the green screen and it's total hands-on. So all the directors and producers that we have here are invited and they'll be setting up the green screen. Uh, Keith is going to do some chroma keying and, and uh, Daniel and Ron have some specific things also on how to set things up. So that should be very exciting and we should be more versed in making, uh, as you say, you know, go to the board meeting and maybe sitting here in Paris or something like that, you know, <laughs> things like that. And, um, and then of course we have, um, a new studio supervisor training is going to happen on the 17th of November. Uh, it's going to be a very busy month uh, because every time we have a program here in the studio, there has to be a studio supervisor because as board, of course, you want to make sure that our studio and our equipment is being treated well mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. that lasts a long time. So we're training some uh, new people, Sherry who's here and Jim who's here. Uh, they're going to take the training and there are about six people on the training and Ian is going to take the training as far as I know. So that's kind of what uh, we're doing and I already mentioned last time that Jim entered his poetry program uh, for the ACM awards which is the, the Western States um, uh, video, TV, uh, film, um, Awards program from what's ACM stand for? The M Alliance for Alliance. Community Media. Yeah, it's the Alliance for Community Media. So uh, that's exciting, and we'll hear maybe next time. Those awards are a big deal when you go. You go to the event, they're like they have a whole party, and people wear gowns, and they have a big event. Oh, really? Shirts, lights. I yep. never went. I oh went goodness. twice, but I yeah. never went. And yeah, it's kind they, of they make exciting. A, a really. They do a really good event. It's really fun for filmmakers or, or video makers yeah. that, that are Should have done. And nominated. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my report. And unless you have any questions. <coughs> okay. Next item is the oral report of the board chair. The main thing I wanted to mention is that uh, there is a new board chair of CMAP, and I've had discussions with him, and he's sent me a proposed new contract. We 
approve a contract for starting December 1st every year for Becca's help here. And I have that contract and we plan to have it ready for this board at the next board meeting. Uh, the only changes are a slight change in the amount of money and the dates. So it's not like the previous year where we changed a bunch of stuff. So I was not planning to have a separate committee review it. It'll just uh, most likely be in the next board packet. Uh, I'll probably bring it to the finance committee first. Mm -hmm. so, okay. And then, then we'll bring it to the board. Before before you move on, I, I wasn't sure if you're going to say that that uh, you still are working uh, with the nonprofits on the uh, PSAs. Yes, that's, that's very successful, and mm -hmm. um, and also uh, that that you and Becca are submitting uh, the elected spotlight for the new radio station K Squid, and. Uh, it's exciting. I mean, you know, we'll do TV on the radio, which of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, people, that it's, 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 it's what people, that's what people Great have man. to imagine what they yeah. may be hearing. But right. maybe they'll be hearing even more, so what being said. But we thought that would be a good idea because it's such, you know, the, the elected spotlight is such an important yes. um, service to the community where people in elected offices get to freely speak with. Mm -hmm. with Becca who you know poses really good questions uh, to pull out you know what is it really that you're mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. so we thought that, you know <laughs> it, it was be interesting. <laughs> no, it is interesting and, and so we thought it would be good to also you know have it just the audio on mm -hmm. the radio so um, so that's another undertaking cool. we're spreading the word yeah. <laughs> okay. So are there any other items, special requests for items to appear on the next meeting agenda? No, we'll, we'll continue to get summaries from the subcommittees. Um, and then announcements. I don't know if anyone else has announcements. I wanted to thank the crew that helped produce tonight's board meeting. Nick Kirkendall, Jim Russo, Sherry Ross, John James, Linda Janekas, and Karen Scott. Thank you. Thank you. And if that's it, we will adjourn to close session. Okay, but can I just... Yes, before we do that. Can I just close it then? Say, uh, move to adjourn the meeting? Or do we do that after? We do that after. We do that after. We're, we're, you can, we're, well, do we need to have a move, a motion to adjourn to close session? If so, I'll move so. I'm not sure. Okay. As your, as your well, second. I yeah, think as your quasi Robert's Rules of Order, I don't have a clue. I, I, th I, I think, think it's it probably is. a good idea. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'll move to adjourn to executives. No, I, I move to adjourn. To, to close, close session. To close, to close session. session. There we go.